What's up, YouTube? Uh, bought my daughter Outlaw 110. If any of you have this, or the 90, the brakes are terrible. It's got uh, drum brakes in the front and one drum brake in the back. So I adjusted them. I adjusted them where they were tight, the front, the back. It's still not very good braking. My daughter was on that little, my driver's got a little slope. She couldn't even stop on that because she's nine years old. Uh, don't have the grip strength as bigger kids probably, but still wasn't enough. So I saw some threads where uh, um, people were installing disc brakes in the back, but everybody was using different, uh, different, rotors different calipers different uh the biggest deal i had was finding the right hub for it so what i did this is this is the way i did it uh, i bought a hub which is that same sprocket hub i got an extra sprocket hub on on ebay and, and i bought this rotor um off uh I bought everything off of eBay, the rotor. So this is a three bolt sprocket, but my caliper was a four bolt, so I had to make it work. I, I drilled extra holes. I put this on the lathe, uh, cause it was moving around a little bit. So I put it on the lathe and shaved, made it true to where it wouldn't be there jumping up and down like this. So what I did, um, I took the seal off just to see how if it was going to hit the bearing. Slide this on there with the long, the long side of the hub in, and that hits the bearing. And then I used this original spacer, put that on. So I was left with a little gap right there. So what I did, I found out that one inch conduit fits right really smooth so I went ahead and got got some conduit cut it I think that was three eighths the gap I was missing I, I cut it to three eighths I also put it on the lathe just to make this the, the same size as this because it stick out a little bit but that if you don't have a lathe that's not a problem that's not gonna uh, affect you in any way and then you put your bolt of course um, so that's that part of it as far as as far as the mount I got a quarter inch plate what I did is I just copied this is the the backing plate for the drum bottom hole and top hole so what I did is I just made me a cardboard template That'll follow this, go around, and that bolt, which looks like that. And then I had to figure out my mounting for the caliper, uh, how low or how high I wanted it. What I did is I, I, I put the rotor on here and then try to measure and get it centered and all that. Well, I got that done after a while, and then you got to figure out your spacing. Um, what I did here is I had to cut this notch. I, I had to cut a little bit of this notch just to give me more room for my bolts. You, you'll see why here in a little bit. But I made it inside a quarter inch steel. Uh, right now I got the I got the seal off just because I wanted to see what was in there. Once I put a new seal on it. I will put this together and show you how I mounted the caliper. Alright, so this is what it looks like all put together. Um, I got the hub, long side facing in, um, this rotor is not perfectly straight, it's angled in, so I got the angle facing this way on this side of the hub, I got my spacer the extra three inch, three eighths inch 
spacer I made and then the hub. This ain't tight. I gotta tighten that up. And over here, I ended up, I messed with this, um, this spacing has to be just right going this way. I set it too tight earlier and my daughter went for a ride and this metal was hitting the uh, rotor so I ended up spacing it just a little more in so I ended up with three washers on the, on the big bolt and five washers on my caliper and that seems to be just right on get some good lightning here there you go uh, just make sure you're facing these bolts out so they won't hit this hit the frame here like I said factory bolt with factory nut on the bottom also I still gotta put that one in I ended up just like I said routing the cable through there um, I ended up just going down there and zip tying it for now and then coming up through there uh, I'd like to buy a, a longer cable later, but that way I could route, route it like the factory. So on on the factory uh, handlebar uh, brake, you got that switch that goes right here. This is what turns on your brake light, and you have this. You you have to have this pressed in to start the bike. So you're gonna have to cut the old switch out. and put some crimpers on there and, and tie it into the new switch and it works perfectly fine brake light comes on and everything you do gotta purge it I, I had to take the the line off I, I think it comes purged already but I had to disconnect the line from here to route it through there just make sure you purge it real good and that's about it